Hello, everyone. Happy New Year. Welcome to another episode of the Ngolela Show. I think this is actually the first episode of 2019, hence why I said Happy New Year and it's like the end of January, at least by the time this posts. (laughs) Hopefully you're all well. I don't know if you had any resolutions or anything, but hopefully all of that is going well. One thing I noticed that I was doing a lot of so far into this new year is talking to a lot of people about my diet, what I eat, what I don't eat. And then they were just curious how I came to get to that point and all that type of stuff. So I thought to myself, I was like, you know what, maybe I'll share a few tips on being vegan. I'm, I mean, I guess I'm vegan. I'm like a dairy free vegetarian, but I like honey. So sometimes vegans will say, oh, well, if you have honey that comes from an animal, so you're not really vegan, but I'm, I'm, I'm vegan, pretty much. But if I want a cookie or something, you know, I'm going to eat the cookie. And I know there's probably milk in there, but I'm working on it. And I do have some vegan cookies that I like. But anyways, we're going to get to all of that. But I did want to start off by just mentioning how important it is to keep up on what you're putting in your body. There's so many times we'll grab something quickly and think, oh, it's just a piece of fruit or it's just this, it's just that. And then when you actually look at it, It could be fake or have artificial coloring, artificial flavoring, and it's obviously that's not what we want to be putting in our bodies. It's not healthy. And I remember being younger, I've always been into reading labels. Like my parents would stop taking me to the store after a while because I took so long and I've always just been in intrigued just by what's in this? Let me, let me look at this for a second. Oh, do you know this has this and this has that? So I've always been pretty health conscious and so I wanted to just give a few tips on how you can possibly maybe not be 100% vegan, but maybe be a little bit vegan, half vegan, whatever you want to do. Hopefully these steps and tips will help you out. Because again, you'd be surprised what has like animal bits in it. Oh, I don't like saying animal bits. (laughs) You'd be surprised what things aren't vegetarian, like, you know, even like bread, pasta sauce, baking mix. Like I used to love this certain brand of corn muffin. Oh, when I tell you, I would bake the whole, the whole pan or whatever. And I would eat it like the, I would eat it just by myself. And then I found out there was lard in it. And of course, lard comes from pigs and I don't want that in my body. So I haven't had those in a long time, but even right now, my mouth is watering, just talking about them. But I also, like I mentioned before, I used to eat meat and dairy. So I really am great when it comes to comparing taste, texture, all that kind of stuff, because I know, I still know what it tastes like, even though I haven't tasted it in so long. So I really think I'm great at giving suggestions. And anytime I would have friends over, you know, I like to cook and just put stuff out there and, you know, it's all seasoned well and mixed up. Well, you don't even realize, like I had one friend, she took a bite of one of the things I'll mention and she was like, oh, what is this? Is it is it turkey? I can't really pinpoint what it is, but it's so flavorful. It's so good. And I told her, I was like, it's not even meat what you're eating. And it was, you know, it's vegan. So let's just get right on to it. First, I'm going to say, unless you're extremely disciplined, you don't want to make a drastic change to your diet. You don't just want to switch up everything. Unless you have that type of mindset and, you know, you can do it, great go all ahead. But I suggest starting off with baby steps. Think about what you eat. What's your diet like now? Where can you make substitutions? What can you add? What can you remove? Those are the things and the questions you need to ask yourself. And so, of course, you should be eating as much fruit as possible, vegetables, all of those things. But if you're wanting to try to really be 100% vegan at some point, or even if you're just starting off vegetarian, I'm going to, I have these five meals or five pieces of food, whatever you want to call it, um, that I think is a great place to start with making substitutions. And so I have for my five things, uh, cheeseburger, chicken tenders, sliced deli turkey, meatballs, and just like a basic sandwich with, you know, meat, cheese, veggies, all of that stuff. So those are the five things we're going to go over. And sometime in the future, I'm actually going to do something like this again, but I'm going to, it's going to be visual. So you'll see me as I'm shopping and giving you the tips and stuff, but you'll want to listen to this with a notepad handy, maybe, you know, dot some notes to, so you know what to look for in the store next time. 
So cheeseburgers were one of my favorite things to eat. Like I love a good barbecue. I love a burger off the grill when it's nice and burned. I know I liked my meat well done. I liked it to have a little crisp to it. That was my, that was my thing. Even right now, again, my mouth is watering just talking about it. But a cheeseburger, that's a great place to start. Maybe you don't eat them every day, but it's not the healthiest thing to eat. And if you start finding out or researching, you know, what happens to the cows and, you know, maybe you'll just want to stop it altogether. But a great substitution for a cheeseburger is there's this brand called Beyond Meat and they have something called the Beyond Burger. And when I tell you, as far as frozen burgers go, and I've had a lot of bad veggie burgers, again, which is what makes me an expert because I've had bad vegan food, bad vegetarian food, bland, you name it, I've had it. This Beyond Burger is juicy. It's thick. So if you like a burger like that, that's not flat and flimsy. This one is a you know thick, thick. <laughs> it's a good burger and it actually it has like juices and when you cook it whether you put it on the grill or toaster oven the oven whatever it's it smells good it has it's just really good it's almost like an actual beef patty was tossed on there so i would suggest you start with that beyond burger substitute your regular beef burger or chicken or turkey burger for the Beyond Meat Burger, and it comes in a pack of two, and you won't be disappointed. You have to, you, it's in the frozen food section, and you, when you buy it, you actually have to put it in the fridge for a few hours before you actually cook it. That's the best way to do it. But start with the Beyond Meat Beyond Burger, and you will not be disappointed. Another one would be chicken tenders, especially whether you want something quick or you have kids or whatever. You know, kids always want chicken nuggets, chicken tenders, that sort of thing. One of my favorite vegetarian or vegan brands is Gardein. I've tried a bunch of other brands. I won't say what they are, but Gardein has been a win, win, win every time I've tried it. And they have these really great crispy tenders. And they also have these little chicken sliders. They're faux chicken sliders that come with the bun and everything. And you can either do the chicken tenders or you can do the sliders just by itself, cut it up. And it's good. And that's a great substitution for chicken nuggets. Or if you want like a chicken Caesar salad, I, one recipe that I really like is it's a, you just get a wrap, like a tortilla, put some vegan mayonnaise on it. We're going to get to that as well. Vegan mayonnaise on it, you know, the lettuce and everything. And then you put the garden chicken strips when you're eating it. It's like it has the same texture as like a chicken tender. It's crispy. And if you cut it up, it's like you won't even, you won't notice the difference. You really won't. And it tastes so good. And then the chicken sliders that come with the bun, those ones are great. I like mine with ketchup or again with the veganaise. It's so good. So that's another great chicken substitution. So one of those two, the crispy tenders or the sliders from Gardein. And if you're going to make a basic sandwich, was, which was on the list, one of the things you should get is uh, Tofurky Deli Slices. They have an array of flavors. My favorite is the peppered one. I think it tastes the best. And it's just thin, just like if you were going to get turkey from the deli. And it's so flavorful. It has the same texture. It's not dry. It's it's really good. So that's good whether sometimes I'll you know want a little bit of a snack or a little something to munch on. And I'll just take that, open it up, roll it up, and, and that's what I'll eat. So it's good for kind of like a quick little thing, but it's also great on sandwiches. And another, since we were talking, we're going to be talking about sandwiches, another thing for the sandwiches, like I mentioned, the vegan mayonnaise or veganaise. There's actually a brand called Veganaise, and it's not too bad, but my favorite is actually this vegan mayonnaise that's at Trader Joe's. I think it tastes really good, and if you pair that with the deli turkey, it is delicious. Oh, that reminds me. Back to the burger. Sorry, I forgot to mention this as far as the cheeseburger goes. The best cheese that I think is the, the best vegan cheese that I've ever had that melts well and tastes just like real cheese, it's almost scary, is the Follow Your Heart Gouda cheese. Spice Gouda Follow Your Heart cheese. That one is so good. And if you put that on the Beyond Burger, I swear you'll take one bite and you'll be like, where has this been on my life? Why didn't I do this sooner? And you can pair that one also with the Tofurky Deli Slices because it is delicious. And you wrap that up. You can put a little bit of veganaise on it. Again, you can have that snack with or without bread, but follow your heart smoked Gouda cheese. And for some reason, when you go to the grocery store, you don't always find it 
with the other cheeses. Sometimes there'll be a completely different section for anything that's, it's interesting, it's called the health food section, and yet, you know, it's only a small part of the grocery store. But anyways, that's another topic for another day. But when you're looking for that cheese, you might have to go to the specialty section, or sometimes it's over by the deli for whatever reason. You just have, you just have to look around for a bit. But it's delicious, and it's worth the roam around. So the next thing would be meatballs. Now, almost everyone loves pasta. You really can't go wrong with pasta. And I think Gardein, again, has one of the best meatless meatballs that I've ever had. Gardein's really great with flavoring and the texture. They just, they just have it. And so the Gardein meatless meatballs, I've cooked in a, in mushroom sauce and pasta sauce all by themselves. They're amazing. And so if you want to make a really easy substitution. Next time you make spaghetti or ziti, whatever you want to make your basic pasta dish, even if it's buttery pasta, throw some of the Gardein meatless meatballs in there and you can take the recipe up a notch and it'll be really good. And it's great with leftovers. You don't have to worry about if it's cooked enough because it's not real meat. Like once you cook it, you only need to cook it for a few minutes and you're good, even right out of the fridge and all of that stuff. So those meatballs are delicious. And I think I covered the five. I feel like I'm going on and on. We went over cheeseburger, the Beyond Meat Burger with the Follow Your Heart Spiced Gouda Cheese. That is a win-win. And then the Chicken Tenders by Gardein, Crispy Tenders or the Chicken Sliders. Definitely try those. The Tofurky Sliced Deli Slices, again, many flavors. My favorite is the peppered, but you know, you can try the different ones you want to try. Pair that with the vegan mayonnaise. I suggest the one from Trader Joe's, but you can find one that you like. Again, that one also comes in, I think, two other flavors. And the Gardein meatballs, which you can do so many things with, even just have it as an appetizer or something like that. It's just really good. And as far as the sandwich, you'll have the deli slices from Tofurky. You'll have the Follow Your Heart cheese, lettuce, tomato, and I love a chipotle mayo. If you can find a chipotle mayo, that's vegan. It's a win-win. When you have time, you should really just really go all out with your sandwich because yes, some sort of foam meat and cheese is good, but when you really go all out with like a little pepper or two, yum, yum. And the last thing I'll leave you with are just a few snacks that I like to keep in my bag whenever I can that are also vegan. There are little packs of like mixed nuts you can pack those, throw them in your bag. Anytime you feel like you want to munch on something, it's better than grabbing some chips. And most mostly you can get the nuts salted, unsalted too. But, you know, if you want something salty and crunchy, nuts are a good alternative. Also, there's this cereal by Kashi called Cinnamon Harvest. And it's kind of, um, you can have it in milk, but I think it's so good by itself because, again, it has a crunch and it also has a sweetness to it. So if you like a little bit of sweetness for your snack, I would suggest getting the Kashi Cinnamon Harvest Cereal. Put that in a little baggie or carrier, whatever you put in your bag, and snack on that. Also, Skinny Pop Popcorn is a really great popcorn that's vegan. You may not realize, some even the plain popcorn that doesn't have butter on it, there's so many other ingredients that it may not be vegan. In this Skinny Pop one, it has the perfect amount of flavor with a little bit of salt, and it still tastes really good, and that's a nice quick snack. And also, if you can, this is kind of a weird snack, but yes, I do carry it in my bag. I have carrots with hummus. I have the Cedars hummus comes in this like eight ounce tub or whatever. It's like small enough and I have that in my bag. My bag, my small bag is pretty big on, you know, for some people, but I throw that in my bag and you just have to make sure you eat it within a certain amount of time because you don't want to have warm hummus. That does not sound delicious. But it's a nice, healthy snack, and you'll get the crunch from the carrot, but then you have the smoothness of the hummus, which you can get, again, in many different flavors. I like the spinach artichoke and also the roasted red pepper. Those ones are really good, but they have so many other flavors to choose from. And the last thing I'll leave you with is make sure everything you're eating is organic. Some people say it's too expensive to buy organic, but it's more expensive to be going to the hospital all the time because you're sick or because you you know you put these foreign chemicals in your body and all of that at what cost you know what's the real cost of of eating fake food so always 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 buy organic take your time 
by organic. And I've actually read organic is a little bit better than non-GMO because organic kind of covers everything and something can't be organic if it isn't non-GMO. So we are just about to hit 15 minutes and I feel like I said everything quickly, but you tell me, you can leave a comment, you can DM me on Instagram, whatever works for you, but you can leave a comment under this video. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you're going to try going vegetarian or vegan and just let me know if you want me to actually do a follow-up in the grocery store. I think I'm going to do it, but I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Maybe you have any questions, whatever it is, leave it below and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my other videos. Follow me on Instagram. I'm under my name. You'll find me. You'll see a lot of my fashion and outfits and things, my fitness, which also goes back into, you know, health and diet and exercise. But again, that's for a future show. So follow me on Instagram, find my Facebook, subscribe to me on here. Thanks for listening and hopefully have a fab day and we'll chat again soon. See ya. Hello.